My philosophy is very simple. When you see something that is not right, not fair, yeah. not just, yeah. say something, yeah. do something, get in trouble, good trouble, necessary trouble. He was always different than every member of Congress. Everybody knew what he had done. He was John Lewis. We're marching today to dramatize to the world that hundreds and thousands of Negro citizens denied the right to vote. Congressman Lewis gave us the blueprint to organize and to legislate. The reason why he's effective as a leader is because he's lived it. We made a decision to march in an orderly, peaceful, nonviolent fashion from Selma to Montgomery. You are ordered to disperse. This march will not continue. I was hit in the head. My knees went from under me. I thought I was going to down the bridge. If John Lewis, as a 19, 20-year-old, wasn't doing what he did, I would not be here. We used to march with the spirit of love and with the spirit of dignity that we have shown here today. The whole time he was in the movement, it was frightening, knowing the danger, knowing what could happen. You cannot replace a John Lewis. He's the most courageous person I ever met. Too many people struggled and died to make it possible for every American to exercise their right to vote. He challenges the conscience of the Congress. Bring common sense gun control legislation to the House floor. Forty years later, John Lewis continues to inspire us. Are you with me? Let me hear you. Three civil rights workers that were murdered for trying to help people get registered to vote are looking down on us. This is a time for action. That's what I learned from John Lewis. There are forces in America today want to take us back, but we're not going back.